First, most people, of course, they know when they see red and blue flashing lights in their rearview mirror, yep. they know they got to pull over right away. Yeah, and that's exactly what a local woman did. But what happened to her next had her calling 911. And 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan spoke with that woman tonight. Now he joins us live from Sunset and Fort Apache to explain why she felt so comfortable confronting an accused imposter. Brian. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't want to go on camera because she's not sure what's going to happen in court, but she says the one thing that was going through her mind when she got out of the car to confront him was trust your gut. It was just before midnight when police say Alan Isaacson pulled a woman over along this stretch of sunset using an overhead light bar hanging from his car's visor. The chances are very good that it is going to be a police officer. 13 Action News crime and safety expert, retired Metro Lieutenant Randy Sutton says in most cases, those red and blue lights or an officer. You have to stop. You're very, very vulnerable. But this time, police say it wasn't an officer, later identifying the imposter as Alan Isaacson. The victim telling officers she realized his clothes, a light colored shirt, construction vest, and blue jeans seemed out of place. Sutton agrees, saying even if an undercover officer pulls someone over, they will be wearing proper identification. They're going to show you their badge. They're going to show you their identification. When she asked to see a badge, the woman said the man showed her an identification card for Metro Roadway Services with Alan Isaacson on the name tag. The woman said she then began taking pictures as Isaacson gave back her license and took off. While things worked out, Sutton says the safer move would be to call 911 in the car to get an actual officer on the way. I wouldn't even tell the person that you're doing that because that could set that individual off. And police do say Isaacson was carrying a gun on his hip at the time of the stop. They later determined it was a BB gun. As for the woman, she says the one lesson she's taking away from this is she initially called 311 to report the fake stop. She now knows this is definitely a situation where she should have called 911. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Very troubling. Man.